Hi, in 5G NR, there are different duplex schemes that can be used. So what does it mean? So if we have a communication between the base station and the user, there is a uplink communication as well as a downlink communication. So from the user to the base station, it's the uplink communication. And from the base station to the user, it is a downlink communication. So between these uplink and downlink, how we are sending the data in a same frequency or either in a different carrier frequency. So if, say, for example, we are sending the information in the given one carrier frequency for both uplink and downlink, then it will be known as a time division duplex. Here in this case, uplink and downlink allocation of the resources within the same carrier frequency will be done in a time domain. So they are separated in time only. Now, in case of frequency division duplex, the other way is we have a separate uplink and separate downlink carrier frequency. So whatever the information we want to send an uplink, it will go in a one specific carrier, which is defined for particular uh, technology in that case, 5G and R. So in case of TDD, say for example, we have a 10 megahertz from 800 to 810 megahertz, that 10 megahertz will be using used for both uplink and downlink. Whereas in case of FTD, we have a separate 10 megahertz, say for example, from 800 to 810, for uplink and then maybe for 850 to 860 for downlink. So we have a separate 10 megahertz for uplink and downlink communication in this case. So the chances of interference is not there. In case of FTD, there would have some possibility of interference, but it needs to be ensured that there is a proper synchronization between the user, between the base station and how the allocation will be done. So in next slide, we will see in detail that how we can allocate the different time domains uh, for the same frequency in TDD. And uh, there can be different patterns in terms of uh, uh, the allocation of resources within the same slot. We'll look into it. And in 5G, it is very flexible. Now, the third option is a half duplex FTD, which can be used in when we are using in 5G and are the different uh, BWP or bandwidth parts. So what happens here, both uplink and downlink transmission can be separated either in frequency or in a time domain. So we have seen in uh, the BWP section that we have different kind of uh, frequency allocation within a carrier. We have uh, different bandwidth parts, which is allocated to the different users. So that can be in a time or in a frequency domain. So here we can have those kind of transmissions in case of half duplex FTD also.